Hey, what's up guys? Sir Eminon here, and welcome to another feature match commentary on the channel today. And this is going to be right off the back of that crazy top 8 feature match. Go and check that out if you haven't already. It's a crazy one. But this is going to be top 4 of the LCS number 9 going on this current weekend. And it's going to be featuring Luke Coogan on Virtual World, as you can see. And his opponent is, uh, oh my gosh, I need to have the names ready faster. Uh, just give me a second as I pull them up. Uh, we got Daniel Heffernan, who I believe is also on Virtual World, uh, unless if I'm mistaken. Um, but I believe he is also on Virtual World. So this is going to be a mirror match, it looks like. And we saw a Kowloon being placed, or uh, being activated to place the Chuchi face up. And then Lulu gets Gammaed, followed by a Gigi. So Gigi is going to send Chingwong, summon itself to the field. And now we're going to see uh, Chinglong grab a Surge. Excuse the heater again. It is going off at the worst times and I can't get out of my chair to fix this because there's so many matches going on right now. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the commentary. We've been doing a lot of them over the weekend here. And I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to record 12 videos in a weekend, but I guess we're doing this. <laughs> so here we are. Chinglong is going to go ahead, activate its effect. That's going to grab for another Surge here of a virtual world. Uh, possibly getting a Lao Lao. Uh, because we really did we use the uh, Woo Woo. Could have a Lalo in hand. Could go for a Kirin as well. Gonna go for Lalo instead. Definitely, definitely reasonable. And it's sent away Nian. That is a pretty nice card to send to Graveyard here. We see Gamma though in the main deck. Uh, a lot of people are off this card. But uh, we're seeing uh, Daniel still incorporating it into his list. And it is pretty nice in this matchup. Now, if uh, Luke Coogan is able to, uh, definitely, I think he's going to try and play around additional hand traps. Because, especially in Nibiru, he can play around that if he uh, has Lalo access still. It might not be possible, though, for him to do it. Just depends on what the other card in his hand is. But he is definitely uh, thinking here. And if I seem a little bit distracted, it's going to be because I still have to actually uh, make sure that the top 8 commentary gets uploaded and uh, goes live uh, as soon as it's ready. Because it's actually currently uploading right the second. So, <laughs> I'm just uh, doing a lot of multitasking. But Itali coming down next, that's going to summon a Nian. And that's going to bring back the other Nian from the graveyard here. So, looking pretty strong as far as just facilitating a variety of plays. We have a couple of non-tuner level 3s, and we have a tuner level 3. So he is going to overlay for Gossip Shadow to play around, uh, potentially into Biru. I do like Gossip Shadow quite a lot. Uh, Lalo coming down next. That's going to send away a Chuche. Is he going to summon back the Lulu? He is. So that means he's going to add back the Lalo off of the Gigi instead of the Lulu, which I think is fair. Oh no, he's going for Shen Shen and then gonna uh, lower it and then go for Cloud Castle. That way he has access to either one that he chooses. Notably, he does not have a Qinglong in Graveyard currently. However, again, with GG resolving, that's not too uh, big of a deal. He has access to a Pop, Gossip Shadow, and VFD, and this is through a Gamma. Very impressive indeed. You can see Kugan definitely knows the lines very well. He's gonna add back Lulu in the end phase. And this is indeed quite the opener. <laughs> definitely very strong. Not fearing Gamma. Gonna call Wind. Not fearing Impermanence. He has Chuche. Yeah, definitely don't have to have any fear. You can shotgun this. And that is very, very sound. Now, this is a Virtual World Mirror, as uh, as we mentioned. I'm glad I remembered that. It would have been embarrassing if I got that wrong. But uh, Kowloon, they both open. Gonna go ahead and put a Chuche face up. And then that's gonna be followed up by a Desire. It's quite good. Obviously, there's no Ash. We know the card in hand is Lulu. So that's going to draw a couple of cards, and we'll see if he's able to break the board. This did call Wind, so that's going to turn off uh, Nian and Lulu and Lalo, so the best ones, pretty much. And, yep, VFD. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? I mean, I would have featured the other matchup, but I didn't cover this side of the bracket at all in Top Cut, so that's why I wanted to do it. Um, even though it is another Virtual World Mirror, but this is the format, this is what it's looking like, so I think you guys uh, should be prepared to see a lot of VW mirrors. He says, I was pretty stoked to see it could still beat Nib. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, huh? Shout 
Should have held Gamma and Gamma do twice. Oh, yeah, double Gamma? Oh. But wait. Gamma has to summon before it negates, right? So if the second one summons, that means it negates the Gossip Shadow, but the first one wouldn't be able to summon and negate the VFD. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong there, but I believe that's how it would work. But we're not going to pay too much attention to that because that's not what happened. We're going to see right away in game two, Kugan going second, but shotgunning the Lancia. Wow, that is wild. That could be detrimental, but I think, if I remember correctly, Coogan was the one who got Lancia, was still able to put up a VFD, and eventually won a game three. I believe this was in round eight that I featured him. So, he's now on the uh, receiving, or rather the uh, other side of it. Actually, both players are playing 41. Pretty interesting. I just noticed that. <laughs> um, shout out to the DB grinder. He would not be happy about that. Uh, but we're going to see if... Uh, if Daniel is able to play past this. We've seen crazy things before. So, let's see. Alright, so he's going to start by normal summoning a Lulu and then going for Lili. That's going to send Qinglong and Chuche. Neither of which, of course, can be used at the current moment, but good follow-ups for next turn. Sorry for the lag there, it's because I'm like tagging or tabbing out and trying to like again get this video ready. So if there is some lag, I do apologize for that, but definitely hard to multitask. At least for me, I'm not a very good multitasker. Uh, but we're gonna see Shen Shen and then oh Alantia dropped, but Gamma in response. You actually opened Exodia, that's a little crazy. That he opened cracked. Wow. There's just nothing to commentate over. The games are playing themselves, and that is unfortunately the sad state of what Virtual World has become. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, th these these are crazy. Play it out for the fans. <laughs> oh man. Feels so bad. But welcome to Virtual World. Yeah, I don't know. This deck... Honestly, I think this deck is okay, but the mirror does not seem fun. My goodness, this seems horrendous. Do the Shaofeng loop spike the price? Oh, does Shaofeng trigger when you destroy it off your own Chuche? I, that's something I didn't even notice when I looked at it last time. I'll summon it, no effect though. But he's going to go Lulu to target the uh, Chuche. Attack for game with it. Uh, Lu gonna go ahead and send Qinglong. Gonna search Gigi. Oh man, this is this is virtual world. You know, I did choose to I guess cast this one over the other match, and that's my own fault. But let's see. So we're gonna see Chuche that popped the Shen Shen. I think he also used uh, Ching on there. Yeah, he's searching Lala -la off of it. He just uh, skipped a step. Oh, not skipped a step, but he's chained it. Um, yeah, my brain is uh, not going fast enough. He's getting on the send. Wow, that is a uh, big sad. This is probably a Chuche that's dead. Alright. I'm not going to have enough time to put like tags on the top uh, 8 video. I guess this will give me a breather after that top 8 match. <laughs> right, he pitched a beer and then he used Desire to draw 2. Yeah, definitely not pressed for time. This has only been 9 minutes. <laughs> so, definitely got a lot of time in their hands. He's going to use Gigi next. I do want to see the Shao Fang, because I just want to read it to make sure that uh, the loop that they're talking about is uh, like crazy as it sounds, because it sounds pretty intense. So he sent Chu Che.
Oh man, it feels like I'm streaming almost and not actually recording a video. <laughs> but I mean, the game basically is functionally over this kind of showboating at this point. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and make a uh, start a charge, it's gonna draw a card, he's gonna go Lao Lao, which he searched off the Qinglong, that's gonna go ahead and send it to Nian. Bring yourself out, can summon back Gigi, summon back Nian, stuff like that. Or he can summon back Lulu if he wants to. No, I was gonna pick Gigi. Yeah, it feels like these guys definitely know each other. So, yeah, he's gonna. I want to see Shaofeng. Please make Shaofeng. I want to see Shaofeng. He can make Shaofeng Utopia Beyond for sure. Right? Because he can Chuche. Wait, he can make Utopia Beyond with a driver, right? <laughs> he can just overlay driver. Overlaying driver is massive brain, by the way. <laughs> I want to see that happen. That would be comedy. <laughs> Take the risk. <laughs> That's the the big gamble. What if he was buffing this whole time for Nibiru in hand? How crazy would that be? I do want to see Shaofeng. He's going to level modulate to bump up Nia. He can also overlay these two and then keep the driver on board for attack. Yeah, he's gonna be on and then go for Xiaofeng. Xiaofeng, Xiaofeng, Xiaofeng. I gotta read this card. Yes, okay. Destroy battle or card. Oh my god! It does include your own card effects. That's crazy. <laughs> That's gonna be game here. Well, that is a Virtual World Mirror in a nutshell. Good games. Uh, that is not much to say about that, huh? This was the sackiest game, feels like it. Oh, it was Foolish Goods, yeah. And just like that, that is going to be the end of this top 4 match, and Luke Coogan moves on to the finals. He'll play either Jesse Cotton, who's on Drytron, or Paolo uh, Goncalves, who is on uh, Zodiac Eldritch Dogmatica. So stay tuned for that one, but thanks guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, as well as any thoughts or feedback in the comments. Subscribe for more competitive video content. If you want to, you can follow me on all social media platforms or support me via Patreon or TCG Player, all the links in the description as usual. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys!